Hey, what's up guys? Diplex here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. In today's video, we're actually going to play a mod that was originally released for Assault Squad 1. Which, by the way, is a game that has kind of been forgotten. Ever since Assault Squad 2 was released, with all the new engine upgrades and the, of course, the workshop function, Assault Squad 1 just took a hike. I mean, there's no reason for that game to even exist. Um, but, I did play it a lot. I don't think I made any videos of it unless I was, like, uh, using a mod, which in this case is kind of a relevant thing to say, because this is the Cold War mod, and the Cold War mod was originally released for Assault Squad 1, so many years after Assault Squad 2 had been released, and many years after I had started making these uh, battle videos using the editor for Men of War Assault Squad 2, um, I did indeed go back to Assault Squad 1 and made a short miniseries uh, featuring this Cold War mod. It was actually a miniseries that did really well on my channel. We had these huge Russian uh, hovercraft landing vehicles um, hitting the shore of uh, the Black Sea, uh, perhaps in like southern Ukraine or uh, Romania or something. And uh, we would have the uh, U.S. troops, part of the NATO force there, defending. And after that, we would have this massive attack on this huge ridgeline defended by Brits, French, German, and American troops. There would be helicopters. There was an amphibious assault. That was just an insane uh, set of battles. And uh, yeah, now we're back in that very mod. And we're on a map um, that I found. I think it's a modified uh, assault Squad map. Not sure. It could be original, actually, to this mod. It's very nice. It has this Eastern European setting. We're very much far above everything because I've, I want to show you guys something. So this is going to be a basic meeting engagement between Russian and American troops in... I think this is like 2016, 2018. I'm not sure. We're not using any T-14 Armatas. We're not... You know, we're not going insane here. There's a lot of Russian Russian military equipment available in this mod that is very high-tech. In fact, some tanks I haven't even seen before. Um, some APCs that look super modern. And I want to I wanna use them for sure. But this is going to be a little bit more classic. Uh, because for the Americans, I don't have anything that looks as futuristic. In fact, I don't even know if the Americans are working on a new main battle tank or a new um, IFV like uh, the... I don't know if there was supposed to be a Bradley that's the M3, M3A1 Bradley or something. Um, I'm just making things up, but like the next generation. I don't know if they've swapped platform from the Bradley to another uh, vehicular system. Perhaps they're trying to upgrade the, the striker more. Perhaps they're trying to use heavier tanks and lighter vehicles instead of something in between. So they're going with the uh, the MATV and the MRAP series and all that stuff. Um... But that's just beyond the point. This is going to be pretty classic. So we've got the uh, Abrams for the Americans and Bradleys, of course. We have the BMP-3 and the uh, most upgraded T-90 I could find to match. So it should be a pretty cool uh, setup here. We also have eight trucks per side that have a variety of choices in terms of deployment. So we're going to open up the uh, waypoints here to show you guys what is going to happen. So this is from the American perspective. Um, there are eight trucks and there are eight possible waypoint locations. Um, I'm going to explain why. And the AI will do what they see fit. I can't tell what they're going to choose, but uh, I'm going to show you the possibilities here. Um, we have two possible end locations for the American trucks here on the left side. We have one here by the pond and another one down this lonely road covered by a hill with some trees. Um, here in the center, we have two on either side of the road and one waypoint pretty close to the center here where all the infantry is going to meet. Further back, we have one uh, to the right here using a small road behind the field. So this is kind of a rear deployment. Then on the right side, we have another two deployment zones, uh, possible truck stops uh, by the field. So that is where the eight American trucks can go. Uh, now, the AI can choose to send four trucks this way and four trucks this way. It can choose to send seven trucks back here and one truck up there. That is all up to the AI, and it's different every time, so that is what's going to make this so interesting. For the Russians, we have a similar eight waypoint setup. We have, on the left side, two waypoints here by the field. Um, we have uh, kind of a centered uh, section here in the middle. We have three or four possible locations here by the road. We have one to the rear, we have one to the front, and another two to the right. Let me just make sure I got this right so that I haven't... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. They have 10 possible locations, but it's in the same spread. I wanted it to be as realistic as possible, which is why instead of giving them 8, I've given them 10, but as you can tell, many of these are here in the center. So this is practically just the same area, but with, with some variety. It, it depends on how the map is made. I had to like open up this field to give them the ability to move right. I didn't see any other options, but here for the Americans, it made more sense because this is more open. There are more roads, which is why I could open it, open it up more. Um, so we're going to see um, per side, there's going to be six main battle tanks. So six M1A2 Abrams. I think we're using the Tusk version for the Americans. So pretty, pretty all around very good upgraded Abrams main battle tank, one that could defeat any other main battle tank on the field. Uh, we're also going to see three Bradleys um, that are going to accompany these six Abram tanks. The Bradleys will be filled with a, with a squad of Marines, so we got Marines versus mechanized uh, Russian infantry. Um, and on the Russian side, as I said, we're seeing six T90 AMS or whatever they're called, very upgraded T90s, very low profile, much smaller than the Abrams, but both of these tanks are very capable of knocking each other out. Uh, and we're going to see three BMP3s that have the main gun, which, is a, which has a lower rate of fire than the Bradley, but both of them, it kind of evens out. The Bradley has the higher rate of fire, the uh, BMP3 has the higher caliber. They both fire missiles. That's right, the BMP3 can fire a missile from like out of the main gun i'm not sure where it fires it it's from i have no idea i haven't really dug into it it looks weird but i know it fires a missile the bradley does too so yeah i think it's going to be a very fair fight and uh you know this is an awesome mod i wanted to do this because this mod is so goddamn awesome it's like so full of explosions and countermeasures and gun smoke and everything tracers it's gonna be a cool cold war battle here uh to 21st century style so without further ado i'm gonna make sure everything is all set i'm gonna stop this introductionary part here which has been fairly lengthy hope you haven't really been minding me talking this much i feel like it's been a while uh, and also sorry for not uploading any videos during the weekend i've been cold today's the first day i'm feeling good enough to do it so back in action anyway guys i'll see you on the battle all right guys without further ado i think it's about time we get this battle started so um yeah and by the way i haven't had any issues whatsoever with enabling the full-on cinematic hud before i had the issue of the difficulty still being there the start and finish button still being there down in the bottom right i think you can spot the two elements but now i can disable it entirely and it seems to be working for all mods i think it's been working for the last couple of videos so mwah, all praise the lord above he's been looking at us and he's been thinking god damn it boy or he probably doesn't talk like that at all if he ever talks oh shit we're like Wow, sidetracking into a crazy discussion, and I have no say in this because I'm not really involved in any of it anyway, but something is helping us out. God damn it, let it be God if it is. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit that start button and uh, watch as the two teams deploy to the battlefield. We have the Russians arriving here on this side. Oh, camera shake, there we go. And we have the Americans arriving here on this side. So eight army trucks. They're all going to be unloading infantry as they've reached their final destination. And after that, we're going to see the armored elements arrive to the battlefield. And all chaos will break out. All hell will break out. Okay, so we have the first Russian army truck taking the right. We have the second one taking the left approach. Uh, okay, so these two here are going to gather pretty close to each other. We have another one rolling on here to the to the left side. This one is going further, though. This one might head all the way to the left side. Second one is going to take the rear position there. But that's actually the fifth one, to be exact. Over here on the U.S. side, we have one on the right, another one heading right. Um, one heading to the far left. Two have parked up here on the left side of the road. That's three in total heading to the right side. I think that is all of the trucks now deployed for the Americans. Wow, a total of four is going to head to the right side. At least two here are heading to the far right. One might actually pull over here to the left. No, we're going to see a total of three head to the far right. We have one on the left side and three in the middle. Wow, that's crazy. 
over here on the Russian side. Only one truck moved up on their right side, which is interesting because it's actually going to match the US numbers on that same side. We have five trucks in the center to counter the uh, three American trucks. So the Americans are going to be outnumbered in the very center. And the Russians only have two here on the left side, which for the Americans on their right side is going to be four trucks so this is going to be pretty crazy the armor should be rolling in now in this very second yes we see the t90s and bmp3s coming up they're going to be facing the u.s infantry uh we have abrams and bradley's coming up behind but they might be a little bit late to the party there is a lot of u.s infantry going up against the russian armor here they might catch some of these russians out in the open in the field and the battle has begun We're going to look at the armored confrontation here on the right side. Two Abrams tanks engaging the four T-90s. Two T-90s down already. Bradley took a hit. The crew and passengers are going to dismount quickly. The two Abrams are pushing forward. That's a rocket away from one of the BMP-3s. That's going to hit one of the hay bales. That's unfortunate. And that Abrams is going to avoid that rocket. Another BMP-3 rushing out in the open. So far, the Russians are taking heavy casualties here on this side. That BMP-3 is going to be turned into smoke. Oh, and what an unfortunate fortunate obstacle there a friendly t90 in the way of that rocket second one's gonna go out that's gonna hit the abrams oh it's taken damage but it's not knocked out second rocket away that's gonna hit nicely and that abrams is knocked out we have the second abrams on this side uh and right now battling uh two t90s and a bmp3 but so far the assets here on the right side have done very, very well. Now, as you can probably tell, uh, the U.S. were outnumbered on the right side, but that means they're outnumbering the Russians here on the left side. Uh, so we're going to see the uh, the stronger American uh, side here over on the left versus the weaker Russian side. Only two T-90s and a BMP-3 here on this side. One T-90 is knocked out. Uh, all Abrams seem to be fine from what I can tell. Oh, that's an interesting chain reaction after the Bradley was hit by one of the T-90s. We're missing one Abrams tank. Oh, it's showing up in the rear now. I wonder where it's been. AI's been up to no good back there with that one, but... Look at a lot of, a lot of those BMP3 rounds hitting here. But the armor is strong enough to withstand it. We have some Russian infantry moving out. Do remember that at this stage, or in this time, a lot of the infantry have some serious AP, uh, not AP, but AT capacity. Oof. But these Abrams are holding out nicely. Whoa, that's a burp. Rocket away. Kind of a stalemate here. A lot of misses. I'm surprised that uh, BMP3 is still withstanding the main gun rounds here from the Abrams. Second one down. I'm not sure what this one's firing at. I think he's focusing on the T90. That's a good hit. But it's going to hit the front armor, and that T90 is still standing. Rocket away. Missed. Went right over it. And the second Abrahams further back is not longer... Not really combat active right now. It's kind of staying behind. Anyway, we're going to drop out of this scenery for a bit and check out the center. We kind of missed the infantry action here, but I think they've been keeping each other at a distance so far. Good old M16 being put to work. Fighting Russian troops here on the left flank. US troops moving out. And I'm moving up throughout the village. M240 laying down some fire. More troops are moving up. Once again, the armor is actually not playing a key role in this battle. Um, it probably represents about 25% of the firepower, despite all the heavy guns and all. Because the infantry here is so capable of taking out tanks of all kinds. Uh, we got lots of different rocket launchers here among the troops on the ground. How's it going here on this side? Well, I don't know if the Russians came out victorious, but, like, they might have disabled the Abrams. But uh, only two vehicles remain out of the six deployed here on this side. That means that the three, essentially two American vehicles, which would be the two Abrams tank, because the Bradley was knocked out so early, is responsible for... Uh, taking out four Russian vehicles, three tanks and one BMP-3. So now these guys are going to roam closer here to the center. This might be an issue for the American infantry here in the sector. What the fuck? What happened? So the T-90 spotted an American Marine, fired, and completely forgot that a friendly BMP-3 was there. So that was a bit of an oopsie. Rockets! Oh! Uh, rockets going out from the Abrams. Oh, we have, uh, sorry, a Bradley, I mean. Of course, an Abrams doesn't fire rockets. 
Not yet it does. And that Bradley was kind of in the rear, chilling for a bit. The countermeasures are going to be deployed. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. US infantry getting closer. The rocket away. That's going to hit the side. Second rocket, third rocket, and boom. That T-90 is smoked by all the Marines. The Abrams is going to kick into effect now. It's been kind of disabled for a bit. It's going to focus primarily on the T-90. Um... Excuse me, I think the BMP-3 is a larger threat right now. Cord machine gun firing away at that um, Abrams, but it's not going to do anything. It's good that the Bradley got the infantry dismounted here on the high ground before they actually went in and got themselves all killed inside the Bradley itself. That BMP-3 is surrounded by US infantry, but we got more Russian reinforcements coming in from the right side. I wonder how the US infantry did against all these Russian vehicles and infantry. I mean, the US spent four, uh, four trucks of infantry here on this side. Four trucks of infantry. We had a lot here in the center as well, so the US is stronger here in the center. But it doesn't really explain how the Russians have been pushed back so heavily since they also had a huge number of trucks deployed in the center. Some of the infantry is kind of hidden in the buildings. I'm not sure where the majority of them are. This T-90 is still causing a ruckus. I thought it was knocked out. No, this, this thing is still firing its main gun. And the Abrams, I don't know if it's lost crew members or what's really going on. But the Marines, I think, might have run out of ammo. It fired three rockets at this T-90. Perhaps from an unfavorable direction. Oh, there we go. The Abrams just kicked into effect. Not sure what they were doing. Oh, my God! M249 <laughs> saw Gunner literally cut that Russian Gunner. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, Hernandez! Stop it, God damn it. I don't know what's going on, but that was crazy, man. That's brutal. So we have some Russian infantry right now pushing the Americans back here. I don't know what's going on. There's a bit of a weird confrontation here. Are they going to stop to kill him? I'm not sure. They seem to be terrified of this frogman. Some more trigger-happy Americans by the pond here are going to knock him out quickly. Um, these guys might have been shell-shocked or something. They're so terrified of everything that's been going down that they just kind of kept running. They didn't even want to confront this Russian soldier. BMP-3 is still active. Uh, there's a bit of a stalemate here. It has to move because right now it's trying to engage the Abrams uh, through, like, this truck and everything. It hit the tractor, but the tractor is not the right target. More US troops are coming back here from the left side of the village. How did they fare against the Russians here? Well, the Russians seem to have been knocked out. BMP-3 definitely down. I just... I'm pretty sure these Abrams are f active. They've just lost their tracks. This one's definitely not active. You know, this one's probably knocked out as well. Yeah, you see a big-ass penetration, like an entry hole. You're on top of the turret. So we've come to a bit of a stalemate, but it's far from over. We're going to open up the minimap soon. That rocket has the ability to probably go over the truck, but no. We'll, we'll have to wait until the AI makes a move here. We do have more US troops getting closer on this side. I wonder if they have any AT capacity remaining. Do we have any launchers that they can use? It looks kind of dry on that side, to be honest. It's that they're going to engage... Whoa. BMP swapping targets. They're going to engage Russian infantry here in the village. That's kind of a cool firefight, not gonna lie. The caliber. Oh, the BMP3 is actually moving. Oh, it's gonna counter the US infantry in the pond. The Abrams should be able to spot it any second now. I don't know if it's lacking crew members. Oh, there we go. No, I think it's pretty much game over now for the BMP3. Yeah. You can you can uh, quote me on that. And now this guy's going to get out. I think there needs to be... I think it needs repairs. Otherwise, he wouldn't send a crew member out. Or he wants to fight on the ground. Not sure. Is he going to go for the repair kit? Oh, he's going back in. I just went out have a look around. Sometimes the AI does that to clear the area. It's kind of cool how they actually dismount crew members to look around. 
Makes sense. So, um, happy surprise. We're going to give this more than one run. This was, if we open up the minimap, we can probably get an estimate of what's going on right now. Uh, so we're going to increase the size so you guys can actually get a good look at it. Um, so we're going to mark the Americans in blue. We're going to mark the Russians in red. From what I can tell, we have some Russians all the way back here by the field. Uh, yeah, about uh, a dozen or so. Okay. We also have probably a dozen Americans out here on the field. Mostly, you know, these guys are Marines. Yeah. Holding it down. We got more in the rear as well. And in the center, uh, the Russians are in control of the village. But the uh, Americans are pretty much in control of the outskirts. Besides, the Americans by now are definitely the only ones with a vehicle. Uh, if I'm looking around. The Russians have... I mean, they have this. It's essentially working, but it's a, it's a disabled T90. So, you know, I think we can conclude that this is a draw. The first round is a draw. Just looking at the two colors on the minimap shows you how even this is with the numbers all around. And, um, I mean, it's incredibly even. So, let's call this a draw. Let's end this scenario in this instance. And let's run it one more time uh, to see what kind of result we can get next. And uh, do remember the truck placements. Do think about how it'll affect the battlefield depending on where you deploy. It's so nice to see the AI do this in a large variety. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And just like that, we are back for round two. Um, and we've already kicked things off. Uh, the Russians are going to arrive here. Um, we'll have enough time to look at all the trucks uh, on both sides. Uh, we don't really have to skip in between. So we can just take our time and see where the Russians go this time. Now, do keep in mind, in the first round, they sent one truck to the right, one truck to the left. They had um, six in the center, I think. Uh, like three here on the far... Uh, three here to the top right, three here on the left side, and then the, the other remaining two on the uh, other extreme right and left sides. Um... So, let's see if it's different this time around. That's why the Russians sent so many troops to the center. I didn't really see them have, like, a, a punch-through effect. I didn't see them have so much manpower that it instantly kicked the Americans out. I, I didn't really see that. So, we have two trucks here in the center on the left side of the road. We have one to the rear right. We have one uh, not to the extreme left, but in between the far left and the center. We have another one heading to the top right. Let's see where this truck goes. He's going to take a right, and he's going to continue. That's nice. We're going to see more Russians on the right side this time around. Uh, this uh, truck is going to take a left. Okay, so we, we're not seeing the same huge concentration here in the center. Of course, it does depend on where this truck goes. It's going to the right, so we're going to have three Russian trucks here on the right side. Uh, one still only on the left side uh how are the americans doing four in the center two on the right is does that mean we're gonna have more here on the left no one on the left and one in the rear so uh way less troops on the far right way more troops no actually the same number in the center where where did all the other trucks go in the last round i'm, I'm trying trying to remember did we see more there in the rear position no, we saw a split on the left and right side of the road. So it's pretty similar, but once again, the Russians are going to have way more manpower on the right side of the town scene from the Russian perspective. And this time we're going to focus more on the infantry early on because this action is really cool. Marines now taking a lot of fire from the left, front, and right side. Whoa! That T-90 is going to avoid fighting the U.S. tanks in the center. Big explosion, though! I think the U.S. are looking at a similar outcome here on the right side of the road scene from the U.S. perspective. This T-90 is engaging infantry, killing lots of Marines here. But they don't seem to really have any support. Uh, let's see if some of these AT rifles get going soon. We have a guy with an AT-4 here, I think. Rocket away. That one's going to miss. Second one's going to hit nicely. Third one's going to miss as well. Do we have any more Marines with AT capacity? There we go. Oh, nice hit, but it's not enough to take it out. It's hitting that thick front armor. But it's finally going to be knocked out by 
more AT rifles here on the right side. We got some American reinforcements arriving as well. And over here on the right side, the US are doing way better than last time. So far, at least. The Bradley is still active. Both Abrams seem to be uh, under full control. Uh, but are we, we're missing a... We're actually missing a Russian APC. It's all the way back here. So this thing might come in later and screw things up for the Americans. We're going to have to find out. Um, so, looking over here at the left side scene from the American perspective. Uh, Russian armor is still threatening the US troops. The, the T-90 seems to be active. The BMP-3 is active. Both T-90s are active. This Abrams is taking a lot of fire now from the BMP-3. In fact, this centered Abrams is just taking all the fire the Russians have to give it here on the left side. That BMP-3 is going to have seen its final days now as it got knocked out by an enemy Abrams. Lots of fire here by another T-90. It might actually cook the crewmen inside. 50 cal doing what it can to chug up the armor, but it's probably not going to work very well. I think some of the aiming systems, some of the sensors or whatever could have been damaged. This game or this mod has like a pretty advanced uh, armor system, so you don't really know what's going on if there's being slow and stuff, but there's definitely things going on behind the scenes here. Well, that's a rocket across the... That looked like a rocket. Pretty sure that was a main gun shell. I uh, don't think we're going to see any Abrams firing rockets out of the main gun anytime soon. But yeah, um, that's pretty interesting. Actually, not going to lie. It'll be interesting if we can see some Russian infantry deal a lot of damage to the U.S. vehicles. Uh, we haven't really seen a lot of rockets being used yet. Now American troops are starting to come in from the flanks. Lots of Russian manpower here in the center. Fighting the Russians here. Um, building to building. This is some serious street fighting. But um, it's interesting not to see too many vehicles interfere with the infantry here in the center. It's probably only a matter of time until these Abrams or Bradleys start moving out. But so far we haven't seen the Russian BMP-3 here behind the forest uh, come into play. And a big explosion back there. That's actually the, Ab uh, the T-90 going up in smokes. So way more dominant... Uh, presence by the American armor here on the left side. This is their stronger flank. And I'm wondering, perhaps it's more balanced to deploy two T-90s per Abrams. Not sure, but you just rammed a friendly crewman. That was crazy. That was obscene. And kind of retarded, but still. Okay. Um, that's a Bradley down for sure. Uh, where is the other Bradley? We still have it chilling back here on the hill, just like last time. And now it has a chill-out friend, which is the Russian BMP-3 here on the opposite side. Uh, I think it'll come into play pretty soon. You know, to make things interesting, let's grab this uh, BMP-3. Let's send it up to the hill. Let's grab this Bradley and let's send it down here to the opposite side of the uh, village. So we're giving them both very even and balanced orders. And uh, just as I thought, the BMP-3 is going to come into action. It's going to unload some infantry. Whoa, there was a Marine right there among them. Oh my god, like, what the hell? Did they just use a, an anti-tank rocket to, to kill one Marine? And now you're going to torch your own men. AI going crazy up in this place, but it's, it can't lie. I mean, it's pretty entertaining, not going to lie. We got some rockets already here for the Russian motorized or mechanized infantry. I can hear Bradley chewing up some infantry back there. This guy has also unloaded all the infantry. By the way, the animations for unloading infantry in this mod is superb. Some of the best animations I've seen so far ever in a mod, actually. And I gotta say, the when they lean around the corners, it's so cool. It makes more sense leaning like this instead of just, like, curving your body. Like, this time they don't really just curve your body like, body like they do in vanilla Men of War. Uh, they just kind of lean more like you would do in a first-person shooter. And it, it looks way cooler. There goes my phone with a little honky-honky. Um... And I think that'll kind of sum up this video nicely. So if I want to do more future battles, I think if we just did infantry, it would be very even. I think so. Yeah, sure, the Russians got but butchered here in the this um, second round. 
But in the first round, or, or the first round, we saw them clear out the city and push the Americans back. So, you know, um, I think the infantry is a pretty... They're, they're meant to be balanced against each other in this game. It's not meant to be uh, boring or uh, impossible for either of the two factions to win against the other. Uh, <laughs> we're having some target practice here on the right side of the town. Uh, the Bradley just cannot score a hit on that one Russian officer. I think one of those Bushmaster rounds. Does this use the Bushmaster 25 mil? I want to find out now. I'm impatient. Yep. M242 Bushmaster. Anyway, I'm getting better. I used to say Bowforce, but of course it's Bushmaster. This Bradley's going to go on a bit of a rampage. How are we doing with casualties here? This Bradley is, or this uh, Abrams is severely damaged, but still functioning. Over here on this side, this one's doing pretty well. It's actually lost some of its crew. Is it even functioning? No, it's 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 abandoned. It's been cleared out. So one Abrams down on this side. Bradley's looking good. Uh, let's have a quick look at casualties before we discard this second round. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, look at this. I mean, we got plenty of U.S. casualties here. Sure, there's a bigger focus of uh, Russian casualties here in the center. But we saw a similar pattern in terms of deployment. Four trucks in the center here this time around for the Russians. Once again, I think it was six in the other one. I think we saw like three down here and three here or something. I can't remember. I have like a short-term memory. We saw way more Russians here on the right side, but they were kind of drafted into the center as the combat began. I would have liked to see them more here on the right side, but uh, not so much. Uh, only one truck here on the left side. Um, it's a shame. It would have been cool to see a Russian truck over here as well. But once again, it's fully randomized when you deploy all these multiple uh, waypoints. And for the Americans, one here in the rear. Still just one here on the left side. Uh, two here on the right side. I think we saw like five or four in the first round. And um, I don't know, three or four here in the center as well. I'm trying to make the math make sense here. Yeah, I mean, there's eight trucks. How could there be, like, nine one round? No, there couldn't. So there must have been, like, three here in the last round? Yeah. Three here, four there, and one there, right? So I just don't know how I can, like, mess that up. But anyway, so this is a... Uh, I'd say this is a clear U.S. victory. Look at the map right now. The U.S. are in blue this time around, and they are kind of everywhere. Uh, the Russians do have some troops here on the right side, but this is just, like... I don't know. They're, they're, they're staying kind of cool here. Knowing there's two Abrams tanks here, but, you know, they don't seem to be the healthiest of tanks either, so. But uh, this was definitely a clear U.S. victory. Uh, we could run it one more time, um, but uh, I think it would really uh, drag out on it. I think we've proven the Russians can definitely win. This time around, the Americans did. I mean, it depends a lot on where you send the infantry. And in the previous round, you could almost say the... Russians were almost slightly ahead of the Americans, even though it was kind of a draw, a bit of a standstill. Yeah, you know what I mean? It was even both had vehicles functioning, a uh, lot of infantry. On, I mean, we have even American troops all the way back here now clearing out the Russian spawn. So, yeah, that's a clear win. And a Bradley here just dominating this flank. Um, yeah, they just... The, I think what the winning factor is just how the U.S. dominated this right side. Took out all the armor without really even losing much. I mean, they lost one tank, but still in the previous episode or in the last part um in fact the russians came out completely victorious um from this side with a t90 and uh, and a bmp3 unfortunately though the for the russians uh the i think the infantry did most of the damage here the dismounted bradley infantry on the left side actually knocked out the t90 they lacked enough russian uh, uh ground forces or infantry to protect it and that's why it got knocked out by the infantry just fun this fun stuff like i wanted to play this mod more i want to do more battles Maybe less of these meeting engagements, perhaps more attack and defend stuff, but just cool stuff, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.